Go ahead, give me that real quick. Yeah, give me Romans 9 real quick. This is Romans 9. Okay, hold on one second. Who, but what is your actual question? That's what I need. Mean. And that's all that I was looking to ask. I'm listening now. Okay, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Romans, Romans 9. Yo. You got some? Did you have some? Uh, you said I promised to Isaac. Get this one. Yeah, yeah. Get this one you're talking about. I'll make that statement. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, this is Genesis 26, verse 1. And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And Yahweh appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell of thee. Mm -hmm. So journey in this land, and I will be with thee and will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. So he's talking to Isaac. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. That's these Israelites because we are we are looking like nations. So you go to Brazil, you have a whole nation full of Israelites. Brazil, you go to because uh, if, if you look over here, if you go to the Caribbean, so-called Caribbean islands, which mean Caribbean mean uh, uh, cannibal. But if you go to Caribbean, those islands, you will find Israelites. Those are like other nations. If you go to uh, North, and the Native Americans are, had this whole big land of all the way to Canada, yeah, all, all the way up. Israelites. Israelites. So we look like nations. That's why we, are, we like the uh, sands of the sea, like the stars of heaven. It's like we're the multitude of us. There's so many of us. And if, it, it, uncount. Yeah, uncount. We can't count them. All right, go ahead. Uh, and we'll give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Because if we went around here, these goddamn nations would be, they will be in a... Do you know who is the kind of people in the world? Hold, hold on, hold on, we are. But if you if you look at it, if you look at it, the, the fact that if we wasn't here, them damn nations wouldn't have this a blessing. They would be Not probably, they would be the sting of vines and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right? So, we are, the nation, the nation of the earth be blessed, they're going to be blessed because of us, you know? Because of us. But, the, but one nation ain't. <laughs> well, go ahead. <laughs> one nation ain't. Okay. Go ahead, man. I was just going to read this just to show that the Hebrew is, is the uh, language of the heavens. You know what I'm saying? That's the strongest language in earth. You know what I'm saying? Outside of English, Chinese, whatever, whatever, it's all about that Hebrew. Because God... The Almighty, the Lord Christo, who's supposed to have our heads covered before Him. The woman, no. Joseph. Man, woman. Too. No, 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 no. Joseph. Man. Okay, okay. let me read. The woman this is only supposed to have her head covered. Okay. This is Acts 26 and uh, 14. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to keep against the pricks. Now this is written in red, showing that it's, it's uh, being said by the so-called, what the world calls, you know, Jesus, right? And that's the um, that's the um, the language that they speak in the heavens. The angels, the heavenly Father, His Son, so-called Jesus, they speak to the Hebrew. All right. Now to prove that there's only one chosen nation out of all the five Hebrew families and whatnot. This is Romans uh, nine and one. All right, I'm starting at the top. This is Romans nine and one. I say the truth in. Christ, I lie not. My conscience also. He said, he said, say the truth to Christ, I lie not. Go ahead. His name. Awesome. What, what is the Lord's name, first of all? The Lord's name, you have many names. I'm all the way with y'all. Okay. Go ahead. I'm all the way with y'all. What's the name? Sorry. What's the name of the Lord? His name. Give us the name. I am. No, baby. All right. Come on, because that's that's English. That's English. Okay. We talking about remember Hebrew. We're talking about Hebrew is the holy language in the heavens. Yeah. So he had a name in Hebrew. So what is his name? You tell me. Give me thirty four. Psalm thirty four. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's good. That's good. Listen. Good that's answer. good. Good ass. Great ass. Actually. Yeah. Proverbs thirty four. Proverbs thirty four. Somebody pick it up real quick. Go ahead, bro. Keep going. That's it. Also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. This Paul speaking. Okay. All right, go ahead. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, who? Who are Israelites? So Israelites are what? He said, this is Saul talking about, I wish I could take, because the Lord, to adopt this back, the Lord, our power, the, 
the adoption is coming back because when he, he put it, he went on the cross and brought us back to the Lord. That's mm -hmm. what adopted, we came back, right? Mm -hmm. So now we, he said, for my kinsmen, according to the flesh, yeah. who are Israelites. So only through the flesh you could be an Israelite, like the seed of Jacob. Yeah. You can't be spiritual Israelite. You can't feel like I, 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 uh, I want to be an Israelite and I read the books. You might be if you if you your spirit your spirit inclined. You might be the seed of Jacob, but you might look like another nation. But the Lord, we left seeds around the whole nation for a uh, world for thousands of years, so and they start nation. looking like those other nations. You be father of many a nation. Now you talking about Abraham, but that means he he had a lot of different children. It was a Abraham was his name is Abram changed to Abraham, became the father of many nations. All right, mm -hmm. that's all that means. But he was, but. Israel shall be. Go ahead, keep reading. He, he gonna, it's gonna, yeah, gonna explain itself. It's gonna explain itself. All right. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption uh -huh. and the glory and the covenants? So that's, that's a buzzword because the covenants was given to Israel. Only. You know, only. Exclusive. All right. It's it's and giving of the law uh -huh. and the service of the Most High and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh. All right, that's why he said kids, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your kin folk. Those are the people that's actually related to you. Those are not strangers. Those that's uh, your blood relatives, if you will. All right. It says, "Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came." So uh, the Lord only came for Israelites. All right. That's who He's only coming for when He come back. He's coming for the elect, though. It's not the whole thing of Israel. They come for the elect, the, the whole, the one third basically, with the one forty-four thousand. Yep. The election. Now you got Israelites that that's that's just the help the women and children of those men. That's who those men. Now it might be a guy that come over here give a cup of cold water, and and, and then the Lord might bless him. That was just his his thing to do. Give us a cup of cold water, and he become a help in the a kingdom. So the Lord blessed him. The king is just so that's how simple. This is, but the Lord is so merciful. That's merciful. That's mercy. They just give me a cup of cold water, and the Lord gave you, redeem you. You see, a, a, a prophet's reward? How? You know, but you, we, we, we going, but it's going to be, that's good to know, but what's got to come before that, before he come, it's going to be hell. Hell about yes. to come. Military troops is going to be taking us out. Right here, right taking here. Taking people right out here, on this earth. Right yeah. here. Oh, right here. Yeah, go ahead. Came who is over all the most high blessed forever, amen. Right, so what not as though the word of the most high have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So that's why we said the one third because uh, of a whole, all our people are not gonna make it, they're gonna burn with the rest of these people. But the Lord's got to save a remnant, He's got to save a certain number. How would He do that? Now he's the greatest mathematician ever been in our world. But how would he get us out of here? Only he know, okay. I don't. He told the hoop? I said only he know, I don't. No, but he say how he gonna get us out of here in the scriptures. Yep. He gonna get us out of here by what you call... Lifting us up. There you go, there you go. Lifting us up in a, in a vehicle, stuff. They're gonna be vehicles. I believe. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they're the seed. Of Abraham, go ahead. Are they all children? Not they all children, because you have, you got families like the Abraham. You just said, "I'm father of many nations." Abraham, he said, neither because they're uh, seed of Abraham, meaning there's a lot of uh, Abraham, a lot of seeds. He got es Esau is one of his seeds, yeah, which is the so-called white man. Okay, now who they say Esau is over around the block? So where's the killer? I call him the killer. Huh? I'll call him the killer. Uh, but who do they say in, on, in the nation, they say is Esau? I don't know. I'm not going to ask that. Okay, okay. okay. Like I said, so Esau is a so-called white man. Because through the, through, through what, what the description of him was basically given, it, was, it describes him to a T. Right? That's that's what we, we have right here. Uh, the, the sons of Keturah, the, which are the Midianites. Um, uh, the Arabs are his children. The, the heirs are his children. He have a, he had um, uh, what's it? Lots, lot, lots children. Yeah, he got lots children with with Moab and Ammon, which are the Chinese and Japanese. So all of them are the seed of Abraham. What well, were you talking to the Holy Spirit just a second ago? What you mean? I'm always did, through these words we talking. Yeah, no, nah, we, 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 we were talking to the Lord Himself. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of scriptures. You think yeah. spirit? Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. talking to the spirit. Okay. Because there's a lot of um, So. So he said, he said through Abraham, not because they are seeds, because what? It's a seed. It's not a many, right? It's not a many seeds. It's a one. Go ahead. Are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Because through this, this, Isaac, only through Isaac. Now, who did Isaac have? What kids Isaac, did Isaac have? Uh, Jacob. Uh, Isaac, Isaac was the son of Jacob. A a Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, Isaac was the son of Abraham. Uh -huh. I'm confused. No, you you got Jacob and who else? It's right there. Enoch. Esau. 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 It's Ooh. right there, Jacob and Esau. Yeah, the first two born. That's his Jacob. sons. Those are his sons. Yeah. But he said, through who? Isaac said, through, so through Isaac, now you get rid of all those other families of the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Now, it's two left. Mm -hmm. Through Isaac, he said, she shall be called, right? Mm -hmm. So, Jacob and Esau. Now, who? Hold that cover. Give me, um, you got 25? Give me, uh, Give me, I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. You got it. I got 30 and um. Give me what you got real quick. Um, give me um uh, Genesis 25. You got 30 and which one? Did I? 30 and 4. 30 and 4. Which, oh yeah, 30 and 4. Okay. Um, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has descended and have descended? Go ahead. We know who that is. Go ahead. Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who can control the winds? Go ahead. Who have bounded the waters in the, in the garment? So who could who could do all this? Who who could balance the waters in the garment? It's just it's expressly saying certain things so you so you don't know who he's talking about. Go ahead. Well, who had it, established yeah. the ends of the earth? Who, who who made the ends of the earth? Who made who established where the end what this end gonna be, where this end gonna be? Go ahead. What name is what is his name? What is his name? What is his son's name? What is his son's name? If if thou canst tell. If you can tell, what is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou can tell. This is a question being asked. Because remember, when you speak in Hebrew, can I get the um prologue of Sarah? When you speak, like, it's right here. If, if, if you speak the language, the holy language, you already know Hebrew is a strong language, right? The strongest language it is besides anything. Uh, it's a prologue of Sarah. Mm -hmm. It says, for, Okay, so come yeah, come. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. He said, Wherefore, let me entreat you. This is Prologue of Sirach. It said, Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us where we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. So Hebrew is, is, is like has power, is power in speaking Hebrew. So now, now, knowing that, now you gotta understand speaking his name in Hebrew is what? If speaking his name in Hebrew is what? Power. Yeah. So you cannot make up a name or just say it's not as I am. That's English. But his name is, did you hear what I said? His name in Hebrew. I'm so thrilled. Uh, okay, but it's not I am. Now the name of the how the name of his name is what? What's his name? It's, power. No, it's not. It is. It, it, his name means something. He is power. But what does his name mean? But what is his name? And what is his son's name? If that's the I'm here to learn, so you tell. Okay. Me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, nah. I don't know if that was I would just give it. Forget it. It's, it's just do the spirit. You know. The name of the Lord is the name of the Lord in Hebrew, ancient, ancient Hebrew, because this modern text we they read now. Mm -hmm. What do they say his name is now over there? They don't, right? His name, see, that's why you gotta know. That they hold it. It's, it our father is Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh, and so the saying I am So saying you Yahweh is Yahweh. And and our Lord and Savior is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Yes, that's power. That's power. Okay? Could you write that down for me? If you write it down for you. All right? Okay. Um, Yahweh is the word Yahweh means to, uh, he exists. Because Yah means he. If you hear him say Yah, and Yahweh means to, he exists. So Yahweh means he exists or breath. He breath or to breathe. Because everybody breathes. And we know he exists. Because we can't call him 
we can't call them in, in, a, in, a, in a first person. We gotta call them in a, a second. What's the third person? In the third person or the sec second person? Uh, in the third, it's like in the third person. We gotta talk to them in the third person. Because what if. Because what if, I am his first person. Okay, if I. I, can, I, I am his first person. So if I say to you, if I say to you, like, if your name is Marilyn, let's say your name is Marilyn. Or not, I can say Marilyn. I, Marilyn. So if we're talking, I'm gonna say, this, this is my friend, he, she's Marilyn. Well, I'm gonna say a man, Eric. I, can, I gotta say, I can't say I'm Eric, because that's what you're saying, I am. You gotta say, he, he's Eric. So that's how we say Yahweh. That, you gotta say, he's, he, yeah, he's Eric. Meaning, if you say, I'm Eric, I'm saying I'm Eric, but I'm not Eric. Eric is in front of me, no, he's Eric. He's Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh. Meaning, he's, he's, he exists. That's what his name means, Yahweh. And then his son, his name is Yahweh Shah. Yeah, it means he, he deliver us. So what he coming to do for his people? Save them, right? He gonna deliver us, right? He still is delivering now. No, wait a minute. He, that's what his name means. I'm not saying what he did. He, he delivered us. You okay? Just hearing the truth. Just hearing the truth. You speak his name in Hebrew, you know, because I can never...